What's going on YouTube? Dougie Chong here. Welcome to today's episode where I'll be reviewing Disney stock. I think most of you know what Disney is, but they're a huge company that's been around for about 100 years, make all sorts of entertainment. They primarily used to make entertainment more for children, but now it's branched out to all sorts. They also make a considerable amount of revenue from their resorts such as Disney World, Disneyland, and they even have places like Disneyland in Japan and other foreign locations. And as a business model, Disney makes a lot of money from this because the kids want to go to these places such as Disney World and Disneyland, and while they may not have money, their parents have money to bring them to these locations. And the price of these resorts are astronomical because you're not paying for the service, you're paying for the experience, the once or twice in a lifetime experience of going to Disney World. I have been to Disney World twice in my life and yeah, I'd say it's a pretty great experience when you're a child. You see all your childhood characters from films such as Goofy, Mickey Mouse in real life. It truly is a magical place like no other. Now I might be a little bit biased because I grew up in the 90s where I had films such as Lion King, Little Mermaid and all those other classics come out and I watch them on VHS. But in addition to the revenue from these resorts and their old films that they have created in the past, Disney stands to make a lot of money from their newest streaming service known as Disney Plus. Disney Plus is expected to grow and become a huge revenue generating service because in addition to having a huge amount of content that they already own, they're able to spend and acquire more films and more TV series to show than any other company. And when it comes to streaming services such as Hulu or Netflix, you generally want to sign up for just one or two and you want them to have as much variety as possible. Therefore, you can just choose and watch whatever you want at any given time. For those of you that don't know, Disney owns the very successful franchise of Marvel. So if you want to watch any Marvel movie at all, you have to subscribe to Disney+. Plus. Now that you generally have an idea of what the company does and how they make revenue, let's get into some numbers. Currently, Disney is trading at $115, down from a 52-week high just a few months ago of around $151. Now, all travel-related stocks and stocks in general have been taking a hit because of the situation that is going on in the world right now. And if we were to go into a recession, the profits from Disney would go down because entertainment is not an essential need. However, long term, Disney is a company that is big enough to recover and survive a recession. In addition to being at a fairly low price right now, the dividend yield for the Disney stock is about 1.5% right now. This means if you just hold the stock, it doesn't go up or down, you will get a safe 1.5% return, which isn't much but it is something. And if you look at the PE ratio for Disney, it is at a safe 18.4 around, which I think it can get to about 20 and still have room to grow. For those of you that don't know what PE ratio is, it is the price of the company's stock compared to the income it makes. I will note that I personally have not started to buy Disney yet. I put an order in for about $110 and I will be looking to start at that price point and buy more as it goes lower. I will also show an update of my portfolio now. It is very much in the red, about down 4,600 total, but I am buying more now as the stocks continue to plummet. As they go down more and more, it is now a better time to buy stocks. But again, if you watch any of my previous videos, I dollar cost average and get a lower and lower price. So I don't go all in. I've invested about 25% of the portfolio now and I will continue to put a little bit more. I think the only new stock in the portfolio is 10 new shares of Wynn Resorts, and I put in a few more shares of Carnival Cruise Lines. I will also look to add more Facebook stock if it continues to drop a bit more. I have not added any more iRobot stock because it has not dropped as much as other stocks have dropped due to the global conditions. Therefore, I do not think it's as good of a buy as other stocks. So here are the stock orders I placed in the past week. I had 50 shares of Carnival Cruise Lines at about $30.95 and 10 shares of Wynn Resorts at about $97. I had an order for Disney that I expired 
and a lower order for Carnival Cruise Lines that also expired. So in summary, I think Disney is looking like an attractive buy because it is at a fairly low price point, has a good PE ratio, has a solid business model, and it provides a dividend. I will end the video with an example of exactly how huge of a company Disney is. They were able to simply buy one of the most successful film franchises in history, Star Wars, which had a huge cult following. They just rolled out three new movies. They didn't even do that well in those three movies, but they made a ton of money just because of the loyal fan base. It's exactly like printing money, and Disney has this ability because of how large they are. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you learned a lot about Disney stock. Don't forget to leave a like if this video helped you at all, and subscribe if you have not already. Also remember, this is not legal financial advice. Please do your own research. Till next time. And if you're still here, consider checking out some of these videos. They might teach you a thing or two about stocks, or they might give you some ideas for financial products.